एनी हाउ लेट्स टेक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन find out the status of finances of urban local bodies in india simple question <coughs> status of finances kuch examples dena chahiye kyon nahi example de sakte is municipal corporation delhi is not able to pay its own salary of employees aisa to likhna chahiye kam se kam examples to aane chahiye how can you forget about sir padhne ke kya so fayda hai aap itna padhte ho yojana kurukshetra news paper hindu and space etc all these things no finances so basic things should be written that there are uh, urban local bodies so generally have three sources of funds one getting from union second from state devolution channel and third their own sources right <coughs> most of the major source of fund is union government the major source of fund is from union government this is how it happens because most of their programs schemes etc are somehow under certain schemes and they are funded this is genuine genuine you are am subject kya ho gaya hai amrut amrut wait so oh, amrut likh sakte the दैट कैन बी उसके अंडर गवर्नमेंट फंड करती है रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दिस सो वील फाइंड दैट की मेजर सोर्स कम आइदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्रांट आइदर इन टर्म्स ऑफ लोन सो दिस इज हाउ वी गेट सेकेंड दैट वी गेट इज स्टेट गवर्नमेंट दे विल प्रोवाइड फर्स्ट लेट से दैट की एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सपेंडिचर So urban bodies administrative expenditure are provided by state government, and then other let's say expenditure for development, developmental activities. So it is also funded by the state government in addition to union government. Right. Plus, state government is obliged under the twenty fourth amendment to devolve some funds to urban local bodies. Right. This is how it is. plus finance commission also recommend some grants right so this 14 finance commission has recommended this should be in right 20 80 ratio 20 for performance right so as tarah ke kuch facts facts to aana chahiye na kuch bhi to aana chahiye ek do bhi to facts aana chahiye right <coughs> then their sources what they have the sources they have taxation power tax revenue non tax revenue said so tax revenue so they can impose certain taxes profession tax toll tax said octroi tax road tax market tax taxes on market many activities kuch bhi jo aata hai likh sakte ho said then you write that ki from their own sources they have list contribution right their own sources of finances whatever they may have but they do not have financial realization it is not a problem of only ki whether they have financial power it is also that ki what they are doing in those area where they have financial power right whether they collect taxes whether their tax administration is as efficient right as in case of union whether the tax revenues are reaching to the government let's say that ki per or there is a diversion this issue should also be there it's not that you should cannot always regret you know they do not have power to uh, tax once you give them power so what they will do अब आपको क्या ये लगता है कि जो टोल टैक्स यहाँ लेता है जो जितने यहाँ पे ठेला वाले हैं उनसे जो आप टैक्स लेते हो जो पैसा लेते हैं वो जाता है गवर्नमेंट के पर्स में दिस इज ए पॉइंट तो इट इज नॉट ए मैटर ऑफ दिस ओनली फाइनेंस दैट वेदर दे हैव फाइनेंशियल पावर्स आर नॉट द पावर मैटर इज ऑल्सो देयर फाइनेंशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन राइट लोकल फाइनेंशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विच इज वेरी इनफिशियंट नॉट एफिशियंट विच इज स्टिल नॉट वेरी Based on the 
canons of financial practices. Right. So, these problems they face right. in this respect how municipal bond can work. Municipal bond can work, this is how it is a tool to generate finances from market. Right. So, urban local bodies can issue municipal bonds and through that it is a kind of government security. Union government also issues its securities and through that it generates lots of let us say finances. It is another matter that the RBI buys all those securities. <laughs> but for local bodies there are no any RBI. <laughs> this is how I say that. It means they should issue the municipal bonds which should be attractive so that the people can buy that and invest in this. Right. It is a popular source, it has been made, let us say generally first time it was issued by the Bangalore. Bangalore issued in 1995, followed by Surat, etc., Ahmedabad. When it was first time issued, so this is how Bangalore, uh, when first time municipal bond was issued in India, so Bangalore mobilized 100 crore, 125 crore. It became very popular. It, Surat also, uh, so it mobilized over 100 crore. Delhi also issued. Kolkata also issued, but over a period of time due to lack of support from central government, state governments, municipal bonds have not been very popular. Let us say for Delhi, Delhi Municipal Corporation has in fact financial bankruptcy, it is in a state of financial bankruptcy, right. In fact, most of the local bodies, urban local bodies, so they are in the that state, financially they are in a position to collapse, they are not able to maintain even their basic amenities. Right. They are not able to pay their salaries to their employees. Right. But on the other hand, if you see this uh, municipal bond, so you should know that in US, so in US the municipal bond is that ki every year through municipal bond, US mobilizes 500 billion dollars. Right. 500 billion dollars. Can imagine. Some 10 billion dollars in our house. Right. So, this It means what is, you can say is that is somehow it is working. This concept is working in one country. Right. And the financial mechanism systems we have borrowed from their, their country. So, if we also work because let us say public saving and local level household mobilization is very essential, right. You have to decentralize financial mobilization. How long that union government will mobilize and then transfer to the state and local body, right. So, municipal bond can become a decentralized financial sources let us say for the bodies. And if uh, we provide, let us say, 14 Finance Commission has recommended that the union and state government should provide support for the municipal bonds in terms of, let us say, giving them concession, right, tax free. The municipal bonds can be made tax free. So when you make tax free, it can become attractive, right. Joint municipal bond, let us say, is, uh, recently it has happened uh, in Maharashtra. In what class I was talking? Uh, in Pune, like uh, some municipal corporations have come together, municipalities have come together, and uh, they have issued municipal bonds, securities, which has become popular. Right. <coughs> Yes, recently one article was written, you may have written, uh, read on uh, municipal bo uh, bodies, urban local bodies. One article was written, I think, in Indian Express. In that, that model is used. We thought in ED class, I am not, I am not able to remember it. Great. Great. <coughs> so, this is how it happens. So, that should have been written, further you read notes. Second,
See, history of recommendations of police reforms. Right. There is a PDF file, you can get it, very good PDF file it is. Right. I think it is like this. Seven steps of police reform. Exactly I say nahi hoga, but aap likho ke to Google will respond. <laughs> it is a PDF file. A very good PDF file uh, on police reform. The seven uh, <coughs> step, let's say, ordered by the Supreme Court. Thereafter, what has happened? It has given quite good analysis of different steps, how much implementation has happened, nahi hua hai. graphic representation has also been given. Right. So, you can go through that, very good source. Right. Anyhow, let us come to this. In this question, first you write about the police reforms. Right. So, police reforms since British time, this is how it is. During British time police reform we had, did. we had a Fraser Commission, no, a Fraser Commission report. Did. But during British time, the reform was largely related to uh, empowering police as an establishment of a state. Did. After independence, then some states had established, right, some states constituted police reform commission, Maharashtra, Bihar, then we had ARP first, then we had national police commission, thereafter you know, it is given also in the list, ARP first, national police commission. <coughs> Julio Ribeiro, Padmana Bhaiya, Mali Math, Soli Swarajji. So these are some, let's say, what are their recommendations? So, kuch recommendations likhna chahiye, prominent recommendations likhna chahiye. All of them have, let's say, after independence, largely recommended for what first? Make police an independent institution of state. Police and autonomous institution of the state, insulate police from politicization, make it is a civilized force. Right. Encourage police public relationships. Right. Focus on policing aptitude. Focus on policing aptitude rather than quantitative aptitude. Push to common features likhna chahiye. Right. Isli ki jahan pe aapko general likhna hai, you do not write. Jahan pe general nahi likhna hai, you write. Jahan pe aap specific points nahi likh sakte, nahi to sabke baare mein likhna padega. Right. Itne committee commissions hai ki sabje points likho ke ek do 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 to jitna ho ga. So you have to write general points. General matlab aapko common likhna padega. Then you write ki why the last point should have been written ki last important step is that seven point directive, binding directive by the Supreme Court. Seven point binding directives by the Supreme Court. And we find that even these seven point direct, binding directives, so some states have objected, some states have partially implemented. Right. On the whole, we can say that these even reforms have been not implemented <coughs> wholeheartedly. Right. In fact, we find a push incident to be to link. We find often whenever any incident happened, we talk of policy. Right. All major incidents and one common point is what? Police reform. Right. 
उस इंसिडेंट से दावित तो आया है प्रकाश सिंह का नेतृत्व उसके बाद जाट वायरल निर्भय इंसिडेंट कोई भी इंसिडेंट लिख दो नहीं जाट वाला पता है तो निर्भय इंसिडेंट लिख दो बधाई इंसिडेंट लिख दो कुछ भी ऐसा इंसिडेंट मेजर कोई भी देश में हुआ हो उसमें हर में नहीं भी पता है फिर भी लिख दो पुलिस के फॉर्म की बात होती है <laughs> इसलिए कि वो सारे इंसिडेंट को कैसे एड्रेस करोगे पुलिस के फॉर्म <laughs> This is how we say. Then you write that what are the problem, why they are not being implemented. Said. इसमें सबसे बड़ा problem वो problem ये है nobody wants to lose power. एक बार जिसको power मिल गया अब पंडित जी हैं तो आप power नहीं छोड़ेंगे पुलिसिंग रिमेन्स कलोनियल यस नाउ यस आफ्टर दिस फर्स्ट देन यू एड दिस आई फॉर्गट जल्दी मेरा हैबिट नहीं है क्वेश्चन पढ़ने का नहीं आई थिंक आई रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चन एनी हाउ गुड रिमाइंडर उसके बाद आएगा कि पुलिसिंग कैसे कलोनियल है डेमोक्रेटिक नहीं है आफ्टर राइटिंग दिस देन यू राइट इट रेड सो then you give again some examples where colonial तो बेहतर है कि वो एग्जाम्पल से पहले ही लिखो जो हमने एग्जाम्पल बोला है कलोनियल माइंड से जैसे बदायूं इंसिडेंट है तो बदायूं इंसिडेंट में क्या है कि टू टू गर्ल्स वर रेप रेप दे अप्रोच टू द पुलिस एंड पुलिस डिड नॉट रिस्पॉन्ड रेप अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दोज पावरफुल पर्सन आफ्टर सम टाइम यू फाइंड एड दे वर हैंग रेप their body were hanging on a tree read this is how it happened nirbhay incident police jurisdictional problem read they were let's say among themselves different police were talking about which jurisdiction it came read that result into delay in their action read biasness other things right means it is not let's say citizen oriented it is state oriented we find of often high handedness of the police police high handedness so that should be read right. so it knows third degree only torture lock up death etc all these things आपको कोई भी स्पेसिफिक केस याद है लिख सकते हो ट्रेडिशनल माइंड सेट ऑफ पुलिस कॉलोनियल माइंड सेट इंदौर में होता है इंसिडेंट वन पर्सन वॉज स्टाफ दी सिस्टर वॉज बींग लिटेड की हैरास्ट बाय सम पीपल यंगस्टर्स ही ट्राई टू इंटरवीन एंड ही वॉज स्टैप बाय दैम हिज फ्रेंड ब्रॉड टू पुलिस स्टेशन दे टू फोर्टी मिनट्स टू फाइल एफ आई आर and then they took to the government hospital which was at a very far away distance nearby there was a private hospital they did not take it on let's say that on the way he died this is how it happened read so it is not citizen friend read if i r file karo to action hoga read if i r friendly not citizen friend. एफ आई आर भी नहीं फाइल होता है राइट सुप्रीम कोर्ट को ऑर्डर देना पड़ता है एफ आई आर फाइल करने के लिए एनी सच एग्जाम्पल आपको जो भी याद है लिखना चाहिए टर्न तारन इंसिडेंट हुआ था अभी दो साल पहले पंजाब में वो भी लिख सकते हैं मतलब कुछ ना कुछ एक स्ट्राइकिंग एग्जाम्पल आना चाहिए राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्ट्राइक द माइंड ऑफ एग्जाम टर्न तारन में क्या हुआ था दलित वीमेन पर सिचुएटेड बाई ट्रक ड्राइवर राइट सो माइंड सेट ट्रेडिशनल कॉलोनियल माइंड सेट दलित दलित 
no they are for exploitation this is how so she uh, seek police help ki ulta police inspector usi ko beat karne laga he started beating her ab to electronic uh, usko pata nahi hai aaj this is electronic era right ab uh, uska video banaya aur sab logon ne circulate kar diya the video became suo moto case in the supreme court राइट right. मैंने वो कटिंग अभी भी रखा है सुप्रीम कोर्ट का जजमेंट इसलिए कि वो एक बहुत ही अनदर अलग स्ट्रेंज टाइप का जजमेंट है विल बी अस्टेम उस जजमेंट में सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने बोला था पुलिस इज ए जंगली फोर्स इसलिए मैंने उसका कटिंग रखा है तरन तारण का जो केस हुआ था पंजाब में दो साल पहले टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन में होगा उसमें सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने वीडियो भी केम सू मोटो केस एंड पुलिस वॉज रिमार्क बाई द सुप्रीम कोर्ट डेट कि यू आर ए जंगली फोर्स क्यों सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने ऑर्डर दिया इन्वेस्टिगेशन का इन्वेस्टिगेशन में सुप्रीम कोर्ट के उन्होंने बताया कि ऐसा इंसिडेंट हुआ ही नहीं है इस तरीके से देन सुप्रीम कोर्ट के बाद दिस इज सो दीज आर द इशूज कोई भी एग्जाम्पल लिख सकते हैं देन यू शुड राइट टू वाट आर द रीजन आई वॉज टॉकिंग पावर पावर कोई छोड़ना नहीं था मीन्स स्टेट डज नॉट वॉन्ट टू लूज पावर स्टेट डज नॉट वॉन्ट टू लूज कंट्रोल रेड वही पुलिस Adds power. If Akhilesh Yadav is powerful because of police, if Raja Bhaiya is powerful because of police, and if उसका क्या नाम है Sahabuddin is powerful because of police. Right? अब police power इनको हटा दो एक ordinary आदमी भी इनको मार सकता है. This is how it is held. ऑर्डिनरी आदमी भी दो चार लोग मोहल्ले के भी मिलके मार सकते हैं तो पुलिस इज द सच एन इंस्टीट्यूशन विच एड्स पावर टू द पावरफुल पीपल इन द सोसाइटी इंक्लूडिंग द पॉलिटिकल पार्टी एंड गवर्नमेंट एंड दे विल नॉट लाइक दे शुड बी पुलिस रिसर्च दिस इज हाउ तो हु विल टॉक अबाउट पुलिस रिसर्च concerned citizens who do not have power and that's why there is no police wait this is and other points at your side but this is an important point that ki generally jo bhi state hai political parties hai governments hai wo power lose nahi karte wo chahte hain ki inspector ka bhi wahi appointment kare wait this is how this एक पुलिस का अपॉइंटमेंट वही करते हैं एक पीएन का भी अपॉइंटमेंट वही करते हैं मतलब तो एक फोर्थ ग्रेड के एम्प्लॉय भी वही अपॉइंट करेगा दिस इज कॉल पावर दिस इज हाउ लेट से दैट कि वी हैव टू चेंज दिस शुड बी चेंज ग्रेजुअली अदर फैक्टर्स कैन बी कंसीडर पॉलिटिकल विल पावर दिस इज यूज विल पावर लीडरशिप रेट Federal polity in which union has some constraints. That is how democracy. In democracy, you have to build consensus. In democracy, Wilson, this is how we will take administrative reforms will remain slow. It is difficult to be impose reforms. Impo reforms cannot be imposed. Like vested interest, nexus between police, polit sorry, politicians, criminals, and bureaucracy. Right. that can be written lack of pressure from citizen side right. so these things can be written right. financial aspect can be written but that should be a last one next let's take note B question you read from the notes. It's specific. It is question. It gave some recommendation. You read from that. 
let me say that okay, why we have asked this specific question there are some specific questions asked right so aapko aata hai nahi aata hai you have to write your answer it minimizes your choice right. next could local bodies be legally entrusted with responsibilities relating to conflict resolution discuss its pros and cons so local bodies should be conflict resolution but kuch background to banana chahiye no this is how it is launching pad background is important conflict resolution has been part and parcel of our civilizational past by the local <laughs> is was traditionally known as nyay panchayat nyay panchayat no name is a traditional name right which existed that time there used to be a panchayat which gave nyay justice to people local panchayat that local panchayat still exists even if we have a modern liberal system the local area will find that there are still local panchayat which try to resolve the local conflict although they do not have recognition under our liberal democratic system right but they have societal recognition right. on one such is also तो खा पंचायत हमेशा नॉट की ऑलवेज इट इज नेगेटिव ऑल्सो सम पॉजिटिव खाप पंचायत बट हियर वी आर नॉट एनालाइजिंग नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव वी आर जस्ट गिविंग एग्जाम्पल तो इवन गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो ऑफ व्यू समहाउ देर इज ए व्यू इन ऑल्सो गवर्नमेंट डेट कि दे शुड बी लोकल पंचायत गिवेन जुडिशियल पावर because local self government without local education so certainly it will not become self governance self governance also demand education power right and for that say already in past government of india introduced nay panchayat bill know that in the i think it is not given you can read the nay panchayat bill upa government introduced nay panchayat bill but it was not let say pass there after you should write it pros and cons if it is adopted so it has following pros and cons i would write the pros local disputes local people are more better aware about the local level of disputes etc and they are very petty type of disputes and that can be let's say address resolve it will also establish a communitarian type of society harmony between them social fabric also between them because of enmity social fabric is also being affected it will also reduce their let's say cost and uh, other such factors because as of now they have to go to the tehsil court for such disputes judiciary is already overburdened right. it will also recognize give the let the village panchayat power as of now village panchayat does not have power so when it intervenes some of the conflicts so people may question that you do not have jurisdiction or authority it will also empower the local self government institutions and no doubt it will reduce burden on judiciary one side will be that it will create some legal political uh, jurisdictional problem right 
that ki jurisdictional how we will separate the jurisdictions of the local panchayat from let's say that ki local court the relationship between the nay panchayat and village panchayat their appellate jurisdiction whether nay panchayat judgment will be final or there will be appeal already their government is promoting lok adalat lok adalat for addressing the local disputes so whether it will let say it may increase the financial burden on the government these are some let's say that the concept that should be there okay question is not demanding but whether we should have this to raise that if it is not needed if we encourage adr system in the country adr if you promote adr so local nay panchayat is not otherwise adr and this sect also and many such jurisdictional aspect you can have that can create also legal and institutional problem you should not favor it uh, although it depends on you whether you will favor it let's take next step whether panchayati raj so they should become member in the legislative council so if it happens so it can have some benefits benefits of as of now simply you should write about legislative council basic things should be written on the legislative council they they are created by the act of parliament and their uh, compositions are from the representative of the states indirectly elected right as of now legislative councils are not very effective only few states have and their role is dilatory if let's say that their representations are derived from the panchayat local or uh, local bodies it will result into synchronization in the three tier structure right like let's say that you when rajya sabha representatives are sent from the state right and as again state legislative council representatives will be sent from local bodies which are elected bodies it will bring a kind of synchronization in the three tier structure it will also give recognition to the panchayat sorry local bodies um, member it will bring let's say political training let awareness recognition right. so these things will happen local bodies so they can uh, debate and discuss about the devolution of power and functions from the state so two state legislature they can let's say that the fourth state government debate on argue on devolution of the let's say 3f or strengthening 3f that can happen <coughs> their issues will come to state level as of now the local bodies issues so hardly they have a forum for let's say raising their issues so this can happen that they can get a forum So these are some facts can be written, but although the con side is that it is difficult to implement because only few states have it is optional to the state. Right. Legislative council does not have any power except let's say that the delay is three months it can delay. It. Right. although it can be let say to support the on pilot basis let say it should be encouraged in any one state that or some states should have let say experimental basis they can practice because certainly it will bring a synchronization it has more pros than cons 
because local bodies in members leaders will also get recognition and status and political leadership all these things they will have some also work they will have let's say participation in the state political process two ways one at their level another at top level it is a kind of also linked pin model great this is how it is a kind of link pin model this is how participation right <laughs> this should be encouraged although it and it will be better than the present although let's say that ki uh, um, better than present because as of now from universities and local bodies etc members come as far as universities and students are concerned so they can be nominated members right elected members come from the local bodies and let's say that the nomination you increase it and more nominations so nominated members can come from universities students etc so their representation will also continue they will have also representation so this is how you should support it appears to be a good idea next <coughs> police act this is being perceived as archaic not reflected in our constitutional or democratic aspiration do, do you think that the law needs to be replaced a bit different from committee commission first you should write that the law which was brought under the colonial rule so you should write about the colonial type of some content right first the law was enacted and according to that law police becomes an uh, police become establishment of state police is the establishment of state <clears throat> so it becomes establishment of state and it serves state it was to serve state not to people it was to serve state not to people the nature of functions were also prevention detection prevention and detection of crime investigation of crime intelligence then <clears throat> although it, many of the functions it, which have been associated with police are not mentioned in the law but they have been part of colonial legacy because of this law it, like police institution is considered as it, establishment of a state which exploits people or which works for the state rather than for the people it address the issues of challenges of law and order crime etc by creating fear fear tactics it has right coercion fear use of force rather than winning heart and mind of people working with people therefore people have developed a sense of fear right in their mind right about police institution in the act also nowhere mention service it in the act service have not has not been mentioned nor let's say there is any provision for police public relations police public relation
torture to torture encounter beating abusive languages pain or some of the let's say that negative features associated with killing which they deal in maintaining law and order which they apply in maintaining law and order right means police thinks that right soft policing cannot address law and order problem this is how so this traditional colonial policing is based on this thinking that soft policing cannot address or soft policing is ineffective to tackle law and order challenge right and then you can mention some of the things how it has happened right the crime etc violation all these things this is how that so much so that police is not considered as a civilized force police is not considered as a civilized force arc ckn also recommends that the police should be made a civilized force which means indirectly it is not a civilized force right this is how it is and yes many people civilized people do not want to go in police society may be perception no this is how it happens policing job is not like yes see with suspicion so this is how these things could be written in colonial mindset how again you have to write the how it has been recommended by national police commission to replace the law then police or abg to enact a model police act this is police or abg a national police commission in past there have been attempts to replace the law but law has not been replaced so far rather it has been simply amended so we have amended it we have not replaced it. although let's say model police act was in a, uh, brought it is not still a law rather let's say that the gov central government on the recommendation of police or abg committee model police act it came but again let's say that that model police act unless you legislate means make by legislature and then it brings into force so that has not been done simply by saying that the policing is a state subject right so colonial that law remains this is how can say that and it is this colonial law which emphasizes on all these things you write about some other aspect that the how there is a more emphasis on the quantitative aspect brawn not on brain this is how the kind of policing we have is since it does not have a service motive so emphasis on policing is is the structural functional aspects are that so it's more based on the this uh, traditional aspect so physical this is how you know that so more emphasis is on the physical qualification physical test rather than aptitude test right more uh, training on physical aspect rather than aptitudinal development right so police banne se pehle bhi aap emphasize karte ho physical aspect pe and police banne ke baad bhi jo training hota hai wahi shooting firing etc hota hai jo ki never in life you will do ये <laughs> हो so, पुलिस का मतलब होता है फिजिकल टेस्ट नो हाउ मेनी किलोमीटर्स दौड़ाते हैं वो इफ यू गो इन सम ऑफ द सिटीज तो स्टूडेंट्स आर प्रैक्टिसिंग हार्ड तो कुछ तो नौकरी मिल जाए दिस इज हाउ अरे पर कभी दौड़ेगा नहीं वो जब जब पुलिस बन जाएगा होना चाहिए फिजिकल टेस्ट अब जो फिजिकल टेस्ट लोग जितने लोगों का एप्टीट्यूड है सब बाहर हो जाएंगे ये तो होगा पुलिसिंग दिस इज हाउ कैन से ट्रेडिशनल माइंडसेट अरे दौड़ाओगे तो एप्टीट्यूड वाला तो आएगा ही नहीं उसमें जिसके पास एप्टीट्यूड है वो इतना क्यों दौड़ेगा <laughs> yes, यही होता है अब चेंज हो गया है एससी वाले में चेंज कर दिया है वो सुन लिया होगा मैंने क्लास में काफी तीन साल से देखा है
काफी उन्होंने चेंज कर दिया है नाउ दे टेक एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट देन फिजिकल टेस्ट दे ये कॉलोनियल माइंडसेट है दिस इज आवर कंसेप्ट राइट देन द रोगा सिस्टम द कॉलोनियल माइंडसेट नो जब द रोगा चलता है तो राइट दिस इज आवर कंसेप्ट आजकल के यंगस्टर्स से कहां है राइट मुस्ताच एंड ये वो सब चीजें कॉलोनियल माइंडसेट तो कुछ पॉइंट्स आने चाहिए इस तरह के भी आपके आंसर्स में राइट दबदबा बना के रखें लॉ एंड ऑर्डर मीन फियर बट सोसाइटी हैज चेंज सोसाइटी डज नॉट वॉन्ट टू लिव इन फियर दिस इज हाउ गन से सोसाइटी वॉन्ट टू लिव विथ हारमोनी पीस जस्टिस ये सारी चीज चाहिए पीपल वॉन्ट टू अब ये नहीं कि शाम हो गया तो कोई बाहर नहीं निकलेगा दिस इज हाउ इट इज पीपल वन टू लेट से ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू सेवन आवर्स लाइफ सोसाइटी है चेंज इसमें चेंज होना चाहिए दीज फैक्टर्स शुड बी रिटर्न ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस इन पास फर्दर यू कैन आई डिंग